There are very few tools in the modern tech landscape that almost every developer uses. Git was developed by Linus Torvalds, creator of the Linux operating system, named for his self-deprecating humor. You can use Git to avoid having a hard drive filled with documents from 2007 named Final New Final Edited Version 12, but Git goes so much deeper than this. In software engineering, this is called version control. Flutterflow will let you take snapshots of your project, but Git can do so much more. Every time you clone a Git project, it's a full backup with the history of every change. If you create a branch using Git, you could create a whole feature, while other members of your team work on a totally separate feature, or a hotfix, and your work won't interfere with your teammates' work. This is just as effective when working solo. And when you're working on this feature in your feature branch, and you need to do a quick fix on the main branch, you'd commit your small fix, then merge this into your feature branch, and keep things up to date. When your feature is done, you merge this into the main branch. So if you had two feature branches, or just some changes in main that were made after you created your feature branch, you might get a merge conflict, because Git can't know which changes it was supposed to apply until you explicitly tell it. To avoid conflicts, always keep your feature branches up to date with the latest main branch by merging main into the feature branch. And when your feature is done, merge it into main. When you push a project to GitHub, Git will ensure that your Flutterflow code exists safely outside of Flutterflow itself. And you can trigger other actions and workflows, you can run automated tests, and you can create releases of stable code. So happy versioning, and I'll see you in the next one.